hello. I've walked the 500 miles to Bonnie, Scotland. A common misconception, it's named after UK megastar Bonnie Langford. She's not even a Scot! It's actually named after Bonnie Tyler, who had such mega hits as holding out for a hero until the end of the night, Total Recall and... and other notable hits. As you can see here behind me, we have a genuine Scottish castle. And no, it isn't blue screen tricks. As I've come to the drab, windswept shores of Scotland, the sharpest tools amongst you in the box may have detected a Scots accent and bad boy Glaswegian impersonation. Okay! Scotch eggs, Scotch VHS tapes, Scotch bonnets, Ridley Scotch. Scotchland is famous for many different Scotches. Today, I'm going to talk about the most famous Scotch of all. Dues. Disclaimer! Booze is bad for you. It's basically poison masquerading as a legalised beverage. With this in mind, it's much better to spray on your booze rather than drink it. It's marginally more beneficial to spray boozy chemicals onto your skin rather than drinking booze directly into your liver and other essential internal orgasms. The first frag I'd like to talk about is pure malt. This is a stunning frag I can't recommend highly enough, an absolute must have. Unfortunately, it's discontinued, so you can't have it. Don't shoot the messenger. Incidentally, you can buy this bottle off me for the low cost of 5,000 Scottish pounds. FYI, it's the same amount in English pounds. Now that's a bloody hell bargain! Pure Malts by Terry Muggles is a fruitified version of the original Amen, except it contains a dram of whiskey and, in my opinion, extra sexy notes. Due to this fact, wearing this frag may help you get extra sex. Disclaimer! That may not be the case for everyone. Of course, famously worn by historic Scotch figure Sir Robert the Bruce during battle and when walking these walls behind me, possibly. In fact, it's well known that he was a reeking of whiskey when he died on his deathbed in 1329. His cause of death remains unexplained, though it's my belief he oversprayed this 2009 hit after being brainwashed by curly fragrances. What I want to know is... How the hell can a fragrance be curly? Hello, fragmental, my handsome and sexy dirty bastard. I'm here at another Scotch castle. Unfortunately, somebody ruined this one. Tom Ford's Black Orchard Parfum is a wicked good banger. It smells like Tom Ford's Black Orchard, except more golden. The boozy element in this frag is rum, and it's this rum that adds a distinctly alpha male edge to proceedings. Being completely comfortable in my sexuality, I of course have no problem wearing Tom Ford's Black Orchard and smelling like a woman. If you're not quite so certain of your sexuality, you may enjoy this frag because you can smell like a man and a woman at the same time. Being an advocate of political correctness, I am of course down with this androgynous style of frag. Upon studying the golden nature of this bottle, it comes as no surprise to learn this nectar was composed by Goldfinger from Jim Bond movies The Men With The Golden Guns. When you wear this frag, you'll be the man with the golden rums, and that's a good man to be. The only confusing thing about this frag is, why don't they put apples in an orchard frag? But who am I to judge? Ruined. Again, this country's in a right old state, probably the booze. Givenchy Gentleman Reserved Private is the next boozy frag. It is scientifically proven that women, and some men, go gaga over iris. Just Google Drive it and you'll find out for yourself. Throw in a dram of whiskey and you can woo women, or men, using iris and whiskey to get them right in your rosy little palm. Of course, famously worn by famous Scotch actor Ewan McGregor in the famous movie Train Spotting, all you need to do is look at the movie poster to see he's drenched in the stuff. If you love Iris, if you love whiskey, if you love women, or, or men, or, or any sex that, that anyone is, there are many, choose life, choose booze, 
choose gentlemen's reserved privates. It won't get you ruined. The next boozy frag skillfully negates the need to ever visit a jazz club. It's called Jazz Club from House Maison Margelli. Tabaki, vanilla, the booze note originates from rum. Of course, famously worn by famous Scotch actor William Wallace when he played Braveheart in the famous Scotch movie Braveheart. It's sweet, it's enticing, the notes dance around each other with apparent wild abandon, yet somehow it all perfectly harmonates, much like the notes of jazz in a club. Of course, there are no jazz clubs anywhere near around here anywhere to be seen, but that's okay. I've got my jazz club right here. That's a bit rough. <clears throat> Thanks for a, a nice pint. Diorom, La Fahrenheit Parfum, is a very sensual, warm, caring, huggy sort of a fragrance. Not quite as insanely masculine as the original Diorom La Fahrenheit, but there is still some of that petroleum pumped into the background. Sexed up vanilla, along with a warming rum as if it's just been squeezed from a very moist Christmas pudding, make this such a sensual, warm, caring, huggy sort of a fragrance. If you're not a sensual, warm, caring, huggy sort of a person, but want to trick people into thinking you are, this is a very powerful, loaded weapon of mass destruction to have in your arsenal. Trust me, it works. The last frag on this little jaunt through the wonderland of spray on booze is Chumen Private. This frag is so hip, they gave it a hip flask all of its own. Chumen Private is precision engineered to attract a mate. It makes me think of horny, rutting stags high up on the Scottish Highlands. I'd be watching these stags strutting their rutting while sipping a dram of whiskey and having a right old Scotch time of it. Of course, famously worn by famous poet Robert Burns, reputedly some of the most affecting poetry ever committed to an old-fashioned typewriter, was inspired by this sexy smell. Chemin Privates is so good, it's in a private club all of its own. I strongly suggest you pay the membership and become a member of Chemin Privates. Whilst I can't advocate getting drunk on booze, I can confirm it helps you to feel more confident, lose your inhibitions and helps you to pull. Or if you're American, pick up hot chicks. If you make the valiant decision to spray on your booze rather than pouring it in you, it will definitely help you pick up those hot chickadees. Some foolish fools foolishly believe that spraying a frag will not help you to pull. I believe this to be incorrect, which is why I made up this famous saying, if you don't smell great, you won't find a mate. If you don't smell great, you won't find a mate. If you don't smell great, you won't find a mate. You think all those horny stags would find their little honeys if they weren't spraying sex musks everywhere? Of course not! However you decide to take your booze, spray or pour, make sure you do it responsibly, because if you don't use enough, you'll be the one losing out. And just like me, you don't want to be a loser. Scotland's 
Scotch eggs. 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 Scotch VHS tapes. Scotch bonnets. And Tony and Ridley Scotch. And Ridley Scotch. Ridley Scotch. Ridley Scotch. Ridley Scotch. Ridley Scotch. Come on. Get one full run of it. It's going to be a nightmare to edit. When the money comes in for the ones I do, I'll pass almost every penny on to you. When I come home, I think I'm home. Well, I know I'm going to be in all the feet of men who's coming home. This country's in a right state. Must be all the booze. Ruined! Again, must be all these boozy frags. The next boozy frag is Givenchy, reserved gentlemen's privates. <laughs>